Hello, welcome to today's enlightening journey as we unravel the incredible story of life from the moment of conception to the miracle of birth. In this video, we delve into the intricate and awe-inspiring adventure of sperm on their quest to fertilize the egg, marking the beginning of a new chapter in the miracle of life. Join me as we explore the fascinating biology, science, and wonders behind the sperm's remarkable journey, unlocking the mysteries of creation itself. So firstly let look at what sperms is made up. Sperm is usually consist of two morphologically and functionally distinct regions enclosed by a single plasma membrane, the tail, which propels the sperm to the egg and helps it to burrow through the egg coat, and the head, which contains a condensed haploid nucleus. And the function of the sperm is to provide half of the genetic material to form a fertilized zygote or embryo. Upon fertilizing with an egg, it also provides centrioles to allow centrosome and microtubules to form to allow genetic material from the two to combine. I hope we're together, so let's talk about sperm types. So there are two types of sperm cells, X sperm and Y sperm. X sperm, X sperm on combining with the X chromosome of the female produces a zygote with XX chromosomes. Thus, the X sperm produces a female offspring and also Y sperm on combining with the X chromosome of the female produces a zygote with XY chromosomes. Thus, the Y sperm produces a male offspring. The fusion of male and female. Gametes occurring in the ampulla of the fallopian tube is known as fertilization in humans. Fertilization is the process in which a new cell is formed when two gametes sex cells, sperm and ova fuse together. During this unbiased event, all genetic information is transferred from both the parents to their child and the gender of the child is determined. Father determines the sex of the child. Therefore, if the sperm carries a Y chromosome, the child will be a boy. And if sperm carries X chromosome, child will be a girl. The egg is alive for about one to two four hours after it's released from the ovary. If it is not fertilized by this time, it disintegrates and is shed off by the uterine lining. The sperm stays alive for about 72 hours. The sperms swim upwards to the fallopian tube to fertilize the egg. The faster the sperm swims, the earlier it reaches the egg. And if fertilization does not occur, there will be no zygote formation and egg will degenerate and shed through the uterine lining. I have a lot to discuss but let's stop here until next time. If you find it helpful so please subscribe for more informative content thanks for watching.